Dot TV advocate Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov here with two brilliant guys, Casey and Jamie from VHX. Now, in case you didn't know, I mean, these guys did something pretty amazing on the internet. You guys kind of you reinvented Star Wars, didn't you? Now, t tell me more about that. Yeah. Uh, so back in 2009, I decided to uh, cut up Star Wars in 15 second pieces. And I asked the internet to recreate each scene however they wanted, animation, stop motion, uh, family home videos, and uh, thousands of people came together and recreated the film. And uh, in 2010, we uh, won a primetime Emmy for it. That, that's amazing, because during your, uh, you know, the class that you were doing, the session you were doing, to hear that you guys, you know, an indie, wins this primetime Emmy and you beat out Dexter and you beat out, you know, these, like you were saying, yeah. shows that have staffs, well, like 100, 150 people, and you guys, like, schooled them on how you really do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's partly because, uh, you know, the Emmys wanted us to win, too. Not, not I mean, that was rigged, but they were saying that uh, uh, they, w they wanted true interactive things to like actually be in and they're tired of the same people doing the same boring things online so we we're very happy to be a part of it now tell me a little bit about what you did with uh the comedian aziz azari jimmy what? sure yes yeah, so and kind of the way that we've been tackling independent production and new models of production we're really interested in sort of driving forward the future of distribution and so we worked with aziz Ansari to release his new comedy special online direct to fans five bucks pay for it right away with Amazon PayPal and you can stream it or download it, keep it, put it on your devices. And fans loved it. They responded super well. And so it's something that we've started to scale out to other films as well. And we're offering a new platform called VHX for Artists that we work with the artists to build a release for their film and then launch it direct to fans online. Now, what's, what's amazing is that a lot of people here, a lot of the winners, a lot of the people who come by here, they're really, they're, they're almost stuck in the concept of like discovery of their work and haven't really made the leap into monetization. And one of the really important aspects you talked about monetization is not just being part of a community, but establishing your own brand, establishing your own platform like you've done with VHX.TV. Now, why, why is that platform so important for an independent to make that jump into independence? Uh, mainly because, I mean, when you look at Aziz, he doesn't want to exist on YouTube.com slash Aziz Ansari. He wants to be on ZizAnsari.com. And so VHX.TV is like a perfect place for like all these artists because they, they and innately like brings out their personality and their brand and they can like just, you know, like, like Twitter or Tumblr, you can create your own like custom site or like you can upload like a new background image or colors. Uh, that customization makes it very unique and uh, plus the monetization part of it, uh, it makes it a very unique platform and people want to use it. I think that's the dream of every creative here is to be making money doing what they love in this, you know, in this environment and it's, it's possible. It's not impossible anymore as an independent to make a living to make money doing it and what you guys are doing with VHX.TV and VHX for Artists is really, is, I mean, it's, it's eye-opening. Now, what advice do you have for the young creatives out there who are saying to themselves, I want to do this for a living. I want to be those guys. I want to be the guy making money doing this. What, what would you say to that young creative dude out there or girl? Uh, it's, it's, it speaks really to your point about branding, which is we think kind of the big challenge on the Internet is creating something that's compelling, good content that people know that it's you and they know that when they see that logo, that URL, they can expect something that's really great and providing a way to connect with you, which is you have to embrace social media in all its forms, and you have to be present on all these different sites, distributing free content on Vimeo and on YouTube, participating on Twitter and Facebook. But when it comes down to the end of the day, it's important to have a home for your website too, which is, that's your brand. That's what you put on your business cards. That's the thing, that's the URL that you're telling people. It's like, you don't wanna say youtube.com slash disease. You wanna have your own place. Yeah, and I think if you're uh, new to creating content, I think, uh, a good piece of advice is to just keep on trying because uh, people who don't try don't do anything and uh, and so like if you have an idea just do it you know if you think it's a good idea put it on Kickstarter put it you know, try to get funded like if you if you want to really want to do something uh, just do it why, why is a dot TV domain why is that an important part of the whole branding experience uh, I mean one of the core philosophies of our company uh, when we created it from the just even the technology standpoint, we wanted to be like a TV-like experience. 
and uh, uh, that just, I mean, that's just very important. So you turn on and instantly just watching TV, uh, but it's curated by our communities online, uh, coming from like YouTube and Vimeo, and, and now like more and more specials that we were introducing. VHX.TV, check it out. Lots of great stuff, guys. Thank you so much for being with us today here at the Vimeo Festival. Stay tuned, we got more stuff coming up. Thank you.